Hi, Kelly Clement here for Metastock. You know, as the president of Metastock, I get asked frequently, how do I know if my trading system works? Well, that's a very tough thing to do. It's hard to understand if your trading system works, but luckily there are some great tools that are available on the market to help you identify if your system works. So let's go ahead and talk about how you can figure out if your system works. Okay, so what we're gonna be talking about is something called backtesting. And backtesting is a way to identify if your system has worked historically. Now we'll talk about the pros and cons of that, but I wanna show you what system testing is and how it can help you in your trading. Now to start that, I'd like to talk about first different types of indicators. And let's talk about why that's important. So if I'm looking at the screen here, I'm talking about four different main types of indicator groups. And this is usually what we're dealing with when we're dealing with trading indicators. We're usually dealing with trending indicators, momentum indicators, volatility, or volume. So let's talk about some options in those and some of the things that fall into those categories. Okay, so if we look at this, so if I'm talking about trending indicators, I'm talking about things like the moving average, the MACD. If I'm talking about momentum, things like stochastic or RSI. I'm talking about volatility. Examples are Bollinger Bands, average true range, volume, we have on balance volume or check and money flow or simply volume. So there's a lot of different ways to trade and different ways that stocks react. Now it's important to think that each stock has its own trading personality. It may trade, one thing may trade very differently from another. So what we want to be able to do is match the personalities of your trading system with your stock that you're trading or your future, your crypto, whatever it may be, okay? So here's an example of a chart. This is Best Buy. It doesn't matter really what chart we were looking at. This is just an example. So if I look at this chart and I say, well, I mean, I can see some trend in there, but there's also a lot of volatility. You know, volume's kind of doing, is kind of low, but it has spikes in some places. Well, how do I know here which of these indicators, which type of indicator I should be using when I'm trading this. And that's what we're gonna help you answer today, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just flip over to what to Metastock, and I want to start here. So again, this is just another stock. It doesn't matter what stock we're looking at. We wanna figure out what would work best here. So in this example, I'm looking at 3M, and we can see here we've got a pretty good little upward trend going, but, it's had periods of volatility and volume and different things going on. So how do I know what to trade with it? So let's go over here. So we're looking at that same 3M chart, but now what we have on it is we have the MACD indicator and what we call the MACD expert advisor in Metastock that shows buy and sell signals. And it's telling us that today there was a buy opportunity. Again, okay, so I've got the MACD giving a buy opportunity. How do I know if I should take that trade? So I want to take this just one step further here. I'm just going to pull this over. This is a stock screener uh, and a tool that we call the Explorer in Metastock that helps me scan the market for buy opportunities. And I scanned it before this presentation to say, well, are there any buy opportunities on the MACD or any sell opportunities on the MACD today on the S&P 500? So this went through the S&P 500 and found 45 stocks that are giving either a buy or a sell opportunity today. So if I go through that list, you can see there's quite a few buys here designated by the number one. How do I know which of those is the best one to take? How do I know if 3M back here is the best one to take? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into back testing. So we're gonna talk about matching personalities of our system with the personality of the stock. So since we're talking about the MACD here, I want to back test the MACD against these 45 stocks to see which one performs best. So let's go ahead and just close out of this. So we'll leave the chart open here in the back, but I'm gonna go into what's called the power console in Metastock. And this is where I can scan the market and uh, do different things with it, but I wanna focus on this tool right here, system test. So this is back testing. So what I'm gonna do is put the MACD system here. Now there's, 
any number of systems that you could do this with in Metastock. You can see there's a wide variety of systems and strategies. You can even design your own, but we're going to keep it simple for the moment and just talk about the MACD since that's what we've been dealing with. So here's our MACD. I'm going to scroll down through all these lists that are built into Metastock. And what I want to do is back test those 45 stocks. So there's this option in Metastock called results of last exploration. So that's what we're going to go through here. Just scroll down to the bottom and that's where we're going to find it. So last exploration results 45. Okay, so that's what we're going to test. Now what I need to do is tell the system tester a little bit about me. Because what we're doing here basically is a little bit of a personality test. We're matching the personality of the system with the personality of the stock, remember. So because I'm involved in it, I need to tell it a little bit about me too. So I can tell it whether I trade long, short, or both. So I'm going to say both because I have longs and short signals here. I can tell it how long I want to test for. So I'm looking back here, I'm looking at a daily chart. So I'm going to test over three years about, about 750 records. That's about three years, about 250 trading days in each year. And then say daily, okay? Couple of things in the system tester we need to tell it are things about how much money you have in your trading account. Because everybody watching this video is gonna have a little bit different money in their trading account, okay? So I'm just gonna put a hypothetical in here. I'm going to say, I have 100,000 in my trading account and I'm going to risk 25% of that. Now that's a lot. I wouldn't recommend putting 25% into any given trade, but I just wanna use this as, as an example. So if I have 100,000 in my trading account and I'm risking 25% of that, I'm risking $25,000. If my money goes up to 200,000, well now I'm risking $50,000. So it's just a way of the math there. I can also tell the system tester I only trade 100 shares at a time, or I only use $1,000 or $10,000 in any trade. So you can set all those in there as well. If you're a future trader, you can even do a points only test. Okay. You can say in here if you trade and pay on commissions. So if you pay commissions, you can put that in as part of your system testing. Now, some markets don't pay commissions, some do, and that's why this is available. And then in here, you can also account for things like slippage. So there, there are some settings in here that you can play with. Typically, they're very generic. You just go in there and set a few things, and it's set to go. Now, our support can even help you when you're doing this kind of thing if you want help back testing. Okay, so I'm going to put the MACD now against those 45 stocks, have all my settings ready to go, and let's go ahead and start our test. So what this is doing, again, it's crunching over the last three years, every trade, to see how I would have performed. And if I perform well, it's going to give us a report of that. So let's go ahead and view our report. And now what I'm seeing is I can see that some of these stocks perform very well trading the MACD and some not so much. So that means my personality test worked. There's some that do work and there's some that don't. So we know which ones we may want to avoid and which ones we want to maybe look at. Okay. Now, if I rank this, so I'm, right now I'm ranked negative to positive. So my worst performing one here was Fortinet. So now in two years time or one year's time, Fortinet may be a trending stock, but right now it doesn't seem to be. So you want to test frequently to see what's working. Okay, so let's rank again on percent gain and let's see what our top performer was. Well, over that period of time, Insight was our top top performing with a 28% gain, 56 trades, 33 winners, 23 losers. Okay, so we're always gonna have losers in trading. We know that. We want to protect ourselves with things like stops and things like that. But this shows me that, hey, this worked pretty well. So what I can do is drill into this. Now there's a lot of information in system testing. You can get into a lot of detail if you want to. Personally, what I like to do is just focus on a few quick concepts and ideas when I'm system testing. Okay, so I'll look at my profitable trades here and I'll look at my unprofitable trades and just see how they kind of break down. So my average profit was about 1300 a trade. My average loss was about 695 a trade. And that gives me kind of an idea of trade expectancy. Well, if I'm gonna win, this is my average profit. If I'm gonna lose, this is my average loss. Now. 
This doesn't account for stops the way I back tested, but you can account for stops if you want to. So that's something that's part of system testing. This is just saying when the MACD says buy it, when the MACD says sell, sell it. Okay. So that's all we're, we're doing in this circumstance. Okay. Now you can go through and you can look at other orders, all the positions, how they were all executed, what they looked like. I kind of skip over that personally and I go to this. So this is what's called an equity line. Now an equity line in system testing is very, very important because what it does is it tells me how my money performed over time. So back, we're going back three years. So this was my initial investment back here. And then this is what my money did over this trading time. So when it started, it was a little rocky. It, it didn't perform very well. But over the last two and a half years, it seems to have been performing consistently. It's had good, per, consistent trading, giving us a nice, smooth equity line. So that's really important as part of your testing is to look for a nice, smooth equity line. That's what we'd like to see. So the smoother the equity line, the better the performance and consistency of their performance. Okay, so this is a strong contender if I was looking through that list of 45 stocks. Okay, so there's actually gonna be, let's go back to maybe our next one down. Well, 3M was that chart we were looking at. So let's maybe look at how that one performed, okay? My average profit, about 11, 1150, and my average loss, 585. Let's go to our equity line. Now you can see a very different equity line than the first equity line we saw. So this one didn't perform well at all that first maybe year worked really well had some drawdown which is loss but the last well, the last about year it has been a smooth consistent equity line okay so you've maybe got two contenders now that you can look at as part of your trades so if you're really looking to focus on just a few trades well maybe those are the the two that you want to look at so system testing can be very quick because you can just look at a few find ones that maybe fit your your match and then go from there now let's maybe look at the at fortinet let's look at that equity line just to see what it looks like okay so here's my initial investment and it's been a fairly consistent loser so macd does not seem to work well on fortinet where it did seem to work well on the first two stocks that we looked at now the important thing to realize with system testing is it is hypothetical okay so hindsight's 2020, right? So if I've if I've gone back and I've system tested that and it has looked great over the last three years, that's great. And it's a really good way to identify if something works, but there's pros and cons to it. So the pro is, well, hey, it has worked well in, in the past. So odds are that it may work on the next one but that's hypothetical, right? So it could go against us and that's the risk of the market. But if I'm looking at system test results, let's pull this back up here. So if I'm looking at this, which of these am I more likely to want to trade? Would it be the top two up here or would it be these bottom two down here? So system testing is just a way for us to say, hey, this has worked well historically. And what I'm looking for is an improved odd on my success. Is it any guarantee? No, but it is a it is a way for me to say, yeah, this has been working well historically. It's worked well for the last three years. Odds are I might get a good trade. It's increasing my odds by just looking at that relative performance. It is no guarantee, and that's why we trade with stops. So we try to do those types of things to protect the risk that we're putting into the market. And you should always trade with money that you're willing to lose because, because of that. But here, this is just, again, a way for us to say, yes, this has worked well. It's going to help me increase my odds and have a better confidence rate in that trade moving forward. So system testing is a very unique tool. It's very powerful in the way that you can analyze and look and see how things are performed. So what I'd encourage you to do is if you're interested in doing system testing and trying system testing across all the stocks, all the different systems in Metastock, different lists, there are multiple things you can do with back testing that's very, very powerful in Metastock. 
So what I encourage you to do, if you're interested, give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about Metastock, what it is, how it can help you. I encourage you to take a trial. If you haven't tried Metastock, give it a try. See how it can help you in your trading. Most of all, I'd like to thank you for taking a few minutes with me, watching this video, learning all about system testing. And I wish you successful trading, and we'll see you at the next one.